Mr. Kahuthu, many thanks for joining us on the program. You just launched a public key infrastructure project to create online identity. Please take us through this project. This is initiative is um, by the Ministry of Information and Communication, Kenya. And uh, what we're trying to do is uh, we've seen a growth in the online um, business, especially as we move towards uh, e-government, mm -hmm. trying to take uh, services to the citizenry. So as we move the services online, one of the things that's a challenge is guaranteeing the trust of uh, the applications and the transactions online. So what we're trying to do here is to seal the gap, to try and create that trust element. Hence the reason why we are doing uh, public infrastructure, which is actually um, a project where once completed, we'll be able to issue digital certificates to citizens. These digital certificates are in essence online IDs, just like your normal national ID. So this will be online IDs which will be issued for citizens to be able to use online so that we can be able to authenticate. The whole process is we must authenticate who the citizen is, the person who is trying to claim they are online. There is this concept that everyone is a dog on the internet. So on the other end, you're communicating but you don't know who you're communicating with. So it's very important that you are able to know who is on the other end. Hence the reason why we need the digital certificates. This comes at a time when cybercrime is at a high. How do you hope to curb this? One of the biggest advantage in having uh, digital certificates is that, first of all, you'll be authenticated. It will be you. There's a concept we call non-repudiation, which means you cannot deny it is you who, uh, who was transacting. So because of this, you will see a decrease in fraud and identity theft because the whole infrastructure is set up so that it can ensure that there is authenticity in terms of transactions and the person behind on the other end. Banks are also crying fall because of the increase in fraud through internet banking. How can this also be curbed? Well, currently, the way most of the banks operate and most of, of I would say, most applications is that users have a username and password. We know very well a username and password there's this uh, concept where people have a username and password and they tend to use the same username and password for different applications or website. So chances of you losing your username and password is very high. However, when people are using digital certificates, it's very hard to lose it because the, the whole idea is when you have a digital uh, certificate, it will actually be stored either on your hard disk on your computer or you'll have a token. So for you to now use online banking, if it's PKI enabled, you will now need to use a token where you plug in your laptop and then for you to log in, then you have to actually have the token with you. And then there is a process where you must provide a password to get the digital certificate from your token. Now, what this means is that for you to authenticate, if you don't have the token, you cannot be able to authenticate. And remember, the digital certificate is tied to that particular token, which means nobody can copy the digital certificate and put it in another device. If you do it that way, then it's actually not going to work. So to this end, what we are saying, therefore, is that it's actually going to be hard for the person on the other end to commit fraud or identity theft because now they cannot steal credentials from the person who is the real owner of their uh, credentials. Mr. Kauthu, take us through the phases of this project and when you hope to complete the initiative. This project, we are working in partnership with uh, Samsung SDS. And uh, currently, we've actually worked out the whole master plan as far as the public infrastructure is concerned. So this is a project uh, where the Ministry of Information is actually the lead, and then we have Kenya City Board as the project management uh, body. Then we have CCK, which actually is playing a very critical role because it's going to be what we call the Root Certification Authority. And then we have the Directorate of E-Government, which actually is also very important because, remember, at the end of the day, we're talking about E-Government. So all these services that e-government offers will be the ones to benefit from it. And of course we have the Office of the President, which actually is also uh, helping in the whole project uh, management. Uh, what we are looking at right now is awareness, because we feel like the citizen and uh, the industry at large needs to be aware of uh, the benefits of PKI, hence the reason why we are holding uh, this seminar. We just finished a two-day technical workshop on uh, the PKI. Then we are looking at also now training more people. This is on-the-job training where our, our technical team will uh, work hand-in-hand hand with the Samsung team to be able to go through the whole process 
of setting up the infrastructure. Then from there, we will actually do a knowledge transfer. Because what we want is for the Kenyan people to be the ones running this infrastructure. So our biggest goal right now is to make sure we have as much capacity as possible so that a lot of people, besides government, even the private sector, really get to know the technology, the PKI technology, and also in the near future perhaps even have guys who can develop our local algorithm because the key point behind PKI is the algorithm. So if you can be able to develop our own local algorithm, then actually we're looking at even strengthening our national security. But in the meantime, we're hoping that by October we'll have uh, finished uh, the project and we're going to be piloting with the Kenya Revenue Authority so that we can make actually them as the study case. This is a great initiative. What took us so long? Uh, we've seen a lot of growth in the ICT industry in Kenya. For instance, you've seen the, the landing of the fiber optic. And this actually has created a lot of uh, businesses and opportunities in Kenya. So in the past, we didn't have fiber optic. So when the fiber came, there was all this buzz about, of course, speed, which is actually very important. We need speed. And then, of course, the cost, the cost element. So prior to the fiber, the latency was actually a problem. But now with the fiber, what we are seeing is that there is an increase in a lot of guys who are trying to use online and uh, doing everything online. However, one of the problems with um, good speeds is that, of course, now you create another market for hackers. So there's no difference now between you being in Nairobi or being in uh, Moyale, if you have fiber, from a guy who is in Tel Aviv or in Australia. So in essence, what we are saying now is that we have brought, a pro we have brought actually a problem in Kenya where now we are actually um, victims of uh, online uh, hackers. So because of this, now we have to move another step to try and now curb to come up with uh, mitigation, uh, mitigation strategies. And this is one of the mitigation strategy. And to, to us, the, the, what we want to do is to create, we, we can see what we're trying to do with Konza. We want to create Kenya or to make Kenya as an ICT destination. So again, to do this, people need to be assured that this is the place to be. And the way to do that is to make sure we have trust online. Hence the reason now why we are doing PKI. Um, maybe it's also important to mention that the ministry has just finished working on a cyber security master plan which is in line in trying to make our online environment secure.